guys, today I want to teach you different ways that you can greet in French, as in saying hi or saying bye. In case you don't know me, I'm Rochelle DeMeo from Belter Academy. So of course you probably have heard of bonjour, bonjour. But sometimes it actually is a little bit diminished. You might have seen the video that actually explains why some words you might not understand in French because they're kind of like mumbled together, as in bonjour, bonjour. So you might say bonjour, or bonjour, or whatever tone you're going to use, but it actually could be kind of combined if you're saying it quickly, bonjour, bonjour. So of course that is to say hi. One that may think that you are going a little cuckoo, but you're not, is actually saying cuckoo. <laughs> Coucou, and that also means hi. Au revoir, au revoir. Au revoir means goodbye. Not to be confused with adieu. Adieu means farewell. <laughs> so watch how you use that one. Au revoir, adieu. <laughs> and I'm gonna share one that's my favorite because it can mean hi and bye. Before I do so, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video if you're getting value out of it already. So best one to use is simply salut, salut, salut can mean hi and bye. Not to be confused with salut as in like you're cheering, no, that's actually santé, <laughs> santé ou chin chin, but salut simply means hi and bye. Very good word to use because you only have to use one word for two things. Then you might want to be more precise instead of simply saying hi or bye, such as like saying see you tomorrow or have a good evening or extra little greetings. So let's dive into those. A demain. A demain. See you tomorrow. A demain. A la prochaine. A la prochaine. See you next time. Bonne journée. Bonne journée. Bonne journée means have a nice day. So bonjour is like saying hi, as in like you're greeting, like this is a good day. Hello, literally. Or bonne journée is like have a good day. And so journée is mean like the entire day, right? So bonne journée or bonne soirée, have a good evening. Bonne soirée. Bonne nuit means good night. So usually before bedtime, right? But bonne soirée means have a good evening. You can also say bon après-midi. Bon après-midi. Have a good afternoon. So depending on the time of day, you might just want to switch it up. But it is good for you at least to be able to identify and know what people are telling you. Bon weekend. Bon weekend. Have a nice. You got it. Good job. Bonne vacances. Bonne vacances. Have a nice vacation. You might have noticed that the use of bon, bon really depends if it is a feminine or masculine noun, right? And so that's why you would choose using bon versus bon. And same with plural. Like vacances is always in the plural form. You never have in singular. So, because why? Probably because the French has so much vacation. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, it's always going to be bon vacances, plural. A bientôt. A bientôt. See you soon. Nope, the video is not done yet. I'm just saying that's how you say a bientôt means see you soon, I'll see you soon. Or you can also say a plus, a plus. And you could diminish that if you're writing a text message, for instance, and actually put the plus sign. If you want to know more about texting in French, watch this video next. So pretty much all of those you could use if it's more formal or if it's more informal, meaning like if it's somebody that you know versus somebody that you don't know, like somebody that you don't know, you could use that just as much as somebody that you do know and that you know very well. So those are kind of interchangeable. However, I'm going to give you a last two that do make a difference whether you are familiar with that person, you know them depending on the relationship you have with them, or if it's more formal, you're writing a letter or it's somebody that you don't know. So à tout à l'heure. A tout à l'heure, see you later. And that's more informal. And you can actually diminish that, even say a tout, a tout. You can see how it's written if you're texting as well. I always teach my students at Belter Academy different ways that you can say the same thing in French depending on the context or the convenience, as such as texting. A plus tard, a plus tard is simply a little bit more formal. So if you're kind of hesitating between which one you'd use, a tout à l'heure, a plus tard. A plus tard is more used for somebody that you 
or more formal with. Maybe you're talking to the mayor. Maybe you are talking to the dentist or you're making an appointment for the same day. You could use a plus tard. And I do have that video that you might have seen on how to make appointments in French. And then finally, we have a plus. A plus is more familiar or everyday language. So again, like telling my students when they take the French classes at Beltier Academy, I'm always trying to guide them in which they should use and the best and easiest ways to remember all these words. It's based on different factors, believe it or not. But a plus simply means like, hey, see you later. A plus, easy one to use, right? So which one are you going to try to memorize? I encourage you to start writing down little index cards where you start memorizing these little by little but start using them. Comment below which one was the hardest for you to learn and what I could do to help you may possibly memorize that or make it easier for you to learn. A bientôt tout le monde. Et oui, ou peut-être à plus, ou à tout à l'heure. Allez, à bientôt.